What up everybody, how you guys doing today? I'm super excited because I just picked up my brand new car, which is actually a Porsche 911 Turbo S. This car is absolutely beautiful, I love it. Obviously the engine of the car is in the back, so there is some trunk space, but in the front, it's a frunk. To pop open the frunk, there is, oh, that's not good. <laughs> what the hell just came off? I'm so confused, I don't even know where this came from. Pieces falling apart already is not a good sign. Well anyway, button right here, pull this. Lifts up a little bit, and then there's a latch right here. Lift up, and then boom, a little bit of space. Maybe a small luggage can fit in there. Not too crazy. They gave me a Porsche hat, a Porsche Motorsport backpack. Pretty cool. This part right here was actually a different color. It comes orange, standard, it's like an amber. They replaced it and they put on these clear ones which look a lot better, matches the car more. But they took them off of the dealership and I'll show you what that part looks like. This is it, pretty standard. But I'm happy that they replaced it because it just does not look as good. And they also gave me this cup. Pretty cool, it's got the logo there. And this is Porsche on the top as well. Carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber mirrors on the door. I wish when purchasing this car, there was more carbon fiber options to choose from, but those are upgrades that we can add on. I have some footage of me picking up the car earlier today at the dealership, and I recorded my very first time driving the car, so check that out. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Got the bow on it and everything. Picking up the car right now. I am in my brand new car for the first time. We're about to take it for a spin. Let's start it up. First time start. have it inside their garage. So I was pulling it out. You have no idea how excited I am. This is crazy to me. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I own a 911. I was on a wait list for over two years for this thing. It's just so surreal to me right now. I'm in normal mode. I'm gonna put it in sport. All right, let's head home. This is an all-wheel drive car, which is awesome. Zero to 60, 2.6 seconds. This car is a friggin' beast. to make that verbal last a little bit longer, but it sounds so nice. Let me see if I can put it in neutral and rev it. Oh, they got a rev limiter. Look at that rev limiter taking off. So I'm gonna explain the story of how I even got this car. Basically, I was on a wait list for two years to try to build my own Porsche 911 Turbo S, spec it out the way I wanted it to, and obviously, purchase the car basically at MSRP. Because if not, if you buy this car used, you're still overpaying way more than MSRP. So of course, if that's the case, I'd much rather wait, spec it out the way that I want. So they put me on this wait list. About five months ago, I called the dealer up and I was like, hey, um, any update? Do you guys have any allocations available? And they told me no. And then literally one week later, they called me and said, hey, somebody was buying this car. They pulled out. They don't want it anymore. So they gave me their allocation which basically an allocation is just like the approval to go and spec out your own car the way you want it. So I did that, I was so excited. And then as soon as I spec'd out the car, sent that over, within a month's time, they already started production on the car. What I think is really cool, they also gave me production pictures. They also gave me steps of different processes of the car that they were undergoing. So for example, if the car was being produced, they would let me know the date that it started being produced. When it was leaving to go to the port in Germany, 
to board the boat to cross the sea, when it got to the port in Baltimore, and of course when it got to the dealership in PA, which is where I'm at right now. This thing is a straight bullet. Like I'm not sliding at all. The Lambo I slide ridiculously. Obviously that car is over a thousand something horsepower and rear wheel drive, so that doesn't help. It's like <laughs> driving a fucking Mustang. This is constantly sliding out. I can't floor it in that car at all. It constantly uh, gets no traction, which I still do have the Lambo. Um, I was trying to sell the car, but I currently don't have a buyer as of yet. I did have somebody that was potentially buying it and then they pulled out. So we're just holding on to it until somebody you know, has a good offer. I'm not a rush to sell it though. So I got the Burmester sound system, which is the higher end system that you can purchase. The sound system is significantly way louder than the original sound system that it comes with. I think it originally comes with the Bose sound system, but yes, it sounds great. Yo, the handling on this car is amazing. Probably the best handling experience I've ever had driving any car. I feel like in sport mode, the car burbles more when I let off the gas. In Sport Plus, obviously the car's a lot faster, but it doesn't burble nearly as much. Our friend Sport Plus. See, there's like no burble. Now listen, I dropped it down to Sport. Burble. I also noticed the same thing in Julia's Porsche Macan GTS that she had. I don't know why they do that. You'd figure, the most maxed out setting that would also leave the burble in there as well. I mean, it's still there, but it's not like, it doesn't happen as often per se. I'm gonna do a pull from 70 miles an hour. Oh my God! That'll never get old. So the zero to 60, they say is 2.6 seconds. But any video that I've seen of people testing that themselves, they get a zero to 60 time of 2.3 seconds. Like that 0.3 seconds feels a whole lot different. This feels like I'm driving a beefed up version of my M4. Like if you could take my M4 and put it on steroids, this is what that car would be like. All right, we're gonna give the car some revs. Okay, so when the car isn't rolling and I rev it, it goes to 3,000 RPMs max. But when the car is rolling, I could redline this if I wanted to. But like right now, it's not going above like 3,500 seems to be maxing out. All right, we're about to be home in a minute. We're gonna get Julia's reaction. She hasn't seen the car yet. It's so pretty. Right? Oh my God. Oh, I like the Rams. You do like them? I like them, yeah. You said you didn't like them originally when I showed you on the picture, but yeah. I think in person they look a lot nicer. Yeah, I usually get glossy black rims. I thought these looked really nice. Give a different look to the car. I'm taller than the car. Yeah, it's very short. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> do you see how small the back seats are? I could probably fit back there, but it's gonna be a squeeze. Yeah. Is there a trunk? There's a frunk. There's like room behind the seats though. A little bit. Like you could throw like something back there. Yeah. Julia's talking about this little space right here. Yeah, I guess you could put something back there, but let me pop this. I didn't pop this hood. Oh, that's for the engine. You don't even have access to seeing the engine. You can just like change out the oil through here. Yeah, so I don't even know how to get back there other that's than going behind the seats. I wanna show you guys how small the back seat space is. Yeah, I mean, that's I, really small. I feel like the camera makes it look bigger than it actually is, but dude. Can you like bring these down so you can like fit stuff back there? Yeah, yeah, you can actually like yeah. pull these down to be able to place like a bag on it or something. Oh, okay, like so that's that. actually a lot of room if you have a bag. Or maybe a little booster seat. <laughs> well, I have, <laughs> I have groceries to pick up. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna pick them up in here. There's no room. We only, there's only like four bags. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's doable. Okay, I'm gonna sit back here to kind of show you guys what it looks like. I'm trying to pull the seat up all the way so I can actually get in. Oh God, you're a wide man. You know what? It's not as bad as I thought, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Is your head? Uh... Oh yeah, I have like no headroom. Dude, if you're above like 5'8", you're in trouble. Okay, well let's put this back now. And the seat's moved up all the way. So pull the seat back to how it should. Pull it back? Yeah. 
Oh my god, look, I'm getting like no leg room. Dude! <laughs> Yeah, this is not comfortable. To get out, there's a string right here. You pull forward, and then it goes forward like that. Dude, that's worse than the M4. How did the, oh yeah, I knew yeah. it would be. In these cars, there's no push to start. Basically, this isn't an actual key, but it's more of just like a thing that you can turn. So you're gonna turn that to start it. Julia's messing around with the different buttons. She just put on the seat option to cool the seats and there's also heated seats right under that as well so if you were to put that on but honestly the fan gets pretty loud with the cooling seats you hear that it's pretty loud that's really loud i mean it works good it does work yeah, it makes you feel like you're peeing <laughs> but it is a loud fan it does noise work good I, i'm wearing a sweatshirt and sweatpants and i feel it yeah but yeah that's loud then yeah, that's just heated. This is actually the cup holder. I just have the key chilling in there for right now. Yeah, it doesn't come out. Oh, it doesn't? No, nah, it just oh. stays in there. And then here, this lifts up. I have <laughs> GoPro battery, spare key. Oh, I like the red. Yeah, they gave me both. They gave me a red one, and then they gave me- I like the red one. The black one. It'll get really loud. Watch, watch how loud it gets. God, it goes even fucking louder. That's too much. It goes even louder than that. That hurt my ears. Yeah, that wasn't maxed out. Here's all the different settings on the screen. Vehicle, phone, media, navigation, pretty simple. What I thought was pretty cool is when you go to vehicle and then you're in the drive mode, like let's say I'm in sports mode, right? These are all the things that are activated. You know, the engine is more ramped up, the suspension. If I go into sports plus, now this is highlighted and this is highlighted back here too, which basically, the car lowers a little bit, that's what it's highlighting here, and then the uh, rear wing spoiler comes up as well. So I'll show you the spoiler real quick. And there it is. <laughs> what do you wanna do, drive it? I just wanna move it up and down the driveway. Okay. Oh, that's really trippy. Yeah, I don't know why it blurs I... like that. Yeah. Your car did this too. Yeah. I think I changed them this. The... Whoa. What's it doing now? It's like changing the uh It's like a fish eye. What the hell? So you can see the sides, that, or you can go like that. Like you can even see the camera when you're going forward as well. Oh, it drives so nice. <laughs> Durability <laughs> test. <laughs> Press on everything. Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, this one's fucked up. This one's malfunctioning. The front vents, you can actually move that. I've never seen that on a car before, which is very odd. Wait, what? Right? Is that for like defrosting and stuff? Yeah. So this diamond button right here, there's actually two of them. There's one right there, and then there's one on the steering wheel right there as well. You can actually take those buttons and make them do whatever you want it to do. You can assign them different roles. So I already assigned them. So basically, this one makes your music go forward. I just make this music go backwards. This one is linked to the camera settings on the car. So when I push that, it just pulls up the cameras. All the other things that you can assign with it pretty much already have buttons or are easy to access. So that's why I chose those settings. Julia's first test drive. Fish, fishbowl. Oh, is this screen? No. Am I? Why am I neutral? Why are you neutral? How did that just go into the neutral? Just... Wait, did I roll back the whole time? <laughs> Not even, wow, in reverse, that's hilarious. How did I even roll back? It's not even as steep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know to put my head back. Yeah, get whiplash. Oh, I hear it. You'll hear it a lot more when it like opens up. Yeah, it breaks in a little more. They're phenomenal. Everything's great. Are they ceramic brakes? Yeah. They're huge. Did you see them? Yeah, I saw them. They're massive. Everything feels so smooth too. Even like hitting the button for the window to go yeah. up and down. It's just, it's just very nice. I also got the package that reduces the cabin noise as well. There's like some, some type of like insulated glass that they use. And then the back tires have some type of technology in it that reduces noise as well. Oh my god, yeah, that pull is crazy. Wow, look how big the freaking disc are. 
I know on the wheels. Holy shit. Dude, it's huge. Wow. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, this thing's nice, man. Thank you. Wow, the back is nuts. This thing's sick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Hell yeah. yeah. This is sick. We got my dad in the car now. Holy sh <laughs> Oh, I was spinning. That was the first time I spun. Wow. <laughs> it is like the freaking, uh, what you call it, man? Tesla. Jesus it's Christ, it's it catches a, just like it. a bullet. The tires aren't warm right now. It's yeah. freaking freezing out today. And I just started the car back up, so obviously, got a little bit of spin. That was but. sick, dude. Was there a braking period or no? <laughs> See, that's the thing. I think there is, but I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> so I'm sitting here gunning it, and I probably shouldn't be, but oh, whatever. Man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so God forbid you don't know what time it is. This car's got you covered. You can see the time there. You can see the time there. And you can see the time up there. We're going to give Grandma a ride in the car. Oh, uh, there's no words. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Remember the first time I saw that Lamborghini? Yeah, you didn't like it. Oh, I thought it was... I, I think I wasn't too together that day either. Yeah. Yeah, you thought it was a completely different car the next yeah, time you saw it. Yeah, yeah. See, that day was... I wasn't in my right frame. Oh, it's beautiful. Oops. Did I just scrape? Damn, I already scraped on the first day. And I didn't do it. Oh, I'll go slower next time. Julia like it? Yeah, she loves it. It's a beautiful car. Oh. I like your seatbelt signs going off. Lee, what am I doing? Calm down. That's the first step. Uh, what am I doing? Second step, seatbelt. Where's that? Around. I'm an ordeal to take out. I don't know how mom does it with me. There we go. Now the beeping stopped. Hey, Ready lady. to feel the car? Oh, here we go. But don't do it too fast because then I won't lose my breath. Oh, I know it's speed. I ain't got nothing to hold. No break up here. Liz! <laughs> you said you wasn't going to do all this. But you, I didn't do nothing. Well, there ain't no fucking hand up for me to hold on to. <laughs> you better fucking take this the fuck back. <laughs> tell my grandmother needs a fucking hand up. All right, I'll go tell him. You tell him. Wherever the fuck this came from. Europe, Japan, England, Ireland, wherever. Germany. Ger well, I was yeah. close. All right, I'm I won't do it again. I was in the vicinity. I'm only doing it once for you, all right? That's it. Psych! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're good. I know oh, your nerves. God. Grandma's nerves are shot. I can't be doing this much. Oh, no, please. Small detail, but pretty cool. It says 911 right there. So obviously you have cooled and heated seating, but you can actually change the heating balance and ventilation balance. So let's say, for example, I wanted less heat on my back and more down my legs. You can change that or vice versa. I just have it centered in an even distribution. You can do the same thing for the cooling seats. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh. These three cars right here look so badass together. Obviously we still have the M4, but I've been letting my dad drive that car for like the past uh, little over a year now. So to be able to purchase the car at MSRP, the dealership forced me to either trade in a car, which I didn't do, or buy one of their watches. And their watches are not cheap. They start at like $6,000. And I didn't make any changes to the watch besides add the color black to it because it was like a titanium color and now it's like black titanium. And just adding the color black was $500. So it was $6,500 just for the friggin' watch. I really didn't want to buy it, but I had no choice. But I'll show you guys what the watch looks like. Comes in this box, kind of undo it like an Apple box. Like you're opening an iPhone or something. Nice little presentation. And then bam, there it is. This is the watch. They give you like a little certificate. Nothing too crazy. This is the same leather that they have in the car as well, they told me. And then that's what the back looks like. So you can mess around with the ambient lighting in the car. Right now it's on dynamic. I can change it to lemon green. There's lights over there. There's lights in here, underneath my steering wheel, and over here on the side. Nothing crazy, and it's not super bright either. That's cool, I like that. It's a nice chill blue vibe. This is topaz blue. Which kind of looks more purple in my opinion. Poppy red, dark orange, warm white, and then just cold white. I like this blue the best. Atlantis. Oh yeah, that's nice. We're at a 76ers game right now. My dad's got a cheesesteak. He said it's horrible. <laughs> the first in Miami Heat today.
Julie and I are out to a first form event right now. The last time I was here, I showed you guys all these lockers. They have people's names on it. Come to find out, I have my very own. I'm just finding out about this now. I'm like freaking out. Bam, Stuart right there. Let's go. That's so dope. Got like some goodie bags and stuff right here. Welcome back to the HQ. Let's go. I'm so hyped. That's sick. So the reason the jersey is here is because we're actually going to an NHL game tonight. So got us a jersey as well. Got some sunglasses. Let's check these out. Oh, let's go. Those are dope. Then, of course, some... First one products, wool socks. Oh, definitely need this. A little loofah for when I shower. Slugging face mask, travel cologne, body wash. Aquaphor, which I use every single day on my lips. So they don't go dry and get all crusty. And a little travel bag. Julia just FaceTimed me. She actually got a locker too. So I'm gonna show you what hers looks like right now. This is actually so cute. It says my name on the locker. And there's like obviously a bunch of other people here too with their names. And then we got some stuff in this bag. Tell me to open it up, see what it is. Let's go, we got some clothes. Oh, I think these are actually the shorts I have on right now. That's funny. This building is absolutely massive. I'm in the kitchen area right now. They even got like video games over there. Over here, they have a barber shop, which is closed right now, but really sweet. A whole theater. Of course, they have their gym in here as well, which I'm headed to right now. Got leg day, so I'm like oversized tee on, some shorts. And of course, here is the gym. It's massive and beautiful. I love the color scheme. Large turf area. And of course, they have basketball down there. So this is their main building, which is their headquarters building. They just opened up a second building. Now they're about to open up a third building, like in the same vicinity just crazy and this is massive it's literally right next to a freaking amazon warehouse just to kind of give you an idea this looks bigger than the amazon warehouse hey julia's got her oversized tee on as well pretty much matching we match. yeah right got off our pre-workouts our intra workouts eaa's creatine carbs proteins Ooh, new flavor orange dreamsicle iced oatmeal vegan powder i haven't had those yet fruit punch hey let's go we twinning both got the jerseys on <laughs> Hey, we up on the TV. <laughs> Just like a slideshow on my Instagram or something. We got in a little late, so we had a quick workout. We had some legs. Didn't have enough time to shower, so I'm like still like a little sweaty. Literally nobody showered. Everybody's rushing. But we all got the jerseys on, about to head to the game. I haven't been to a hockey game in forever. Last time I went was a Flyers game with my dad, probably like five years ago at this point. When you first walk into the headquarters, they got a GT2 RS right in the front. When we first got here, we also got these lanyards. You can see, got mine, my name on it. And my, a picture of me. He got photoshopped, you know. That, that actually looked like that sometimes. Yeah, I used to look like this at one point. I'm getting back to it, all right? <laughs> I, I, we're leaning out right now. Here's a better view of it. Beautiful weather out here. It's 73 degrees right now, but as soon as we step outside, of course, it starts raining, unfortunately. Can't catch a break with this weather. All right, here we are. They got the 
little ones out. I have a whole sweets cart. Look at this. That's crazy. What are they doing now? We're in our hotel room right now. We're staying at the Ritz, which I've never stayed here before. It's pretty freaking nice. But in the bathroom on the mirror, you literally have a TV. Like what? I've never seen that. It's now the next day and uh, we have great weather as you can see. So on our way back to Jersey from Florida, Julie and I visit this place called Bucky's. They have a place out here that's similar. It's called Wally's. We just got here now. It's this giant gas station. They have a ton of stuff in there. You could literally spend hours in this place. We wanted to come over here and check it out. Wallies. As Cody would say, Wallies. Wallies. <laughs> Let's go. It's like a Wawa on steroids. Look, they got first form right in the front. It's everywhere out here. Beer, cold drinks, booze, restrooms, whole friggin' aisle of beef jerky, ice cream, fountain drinks, slushies, tea, coffee, meats, bakery. Bunch of like barbecue, croissants, oh my God, bro. Just everything. Look, they even got like cotton candy over there. Parfaits, <gasps> carnival cakes, bro. Marshmallow cookie dough, nah, this is crap. <laughs> this is insane. It's all so organized. Oh my God, this is crazy. Look, they even got like their own like merch bears and stuff. Wraps. Fizz drinks, General So's chicken, orange cream cotton candy, a whole popcorn station, bro. Buttery, cheddar, white cheddar, Chicago mix, kettle corn, caramel corn. We got a whole bunch of different types of pies, loaded brownie, carrot cake, Cinnabons, a bunch of different cookies. Oh my God, this is heaven. They got a whole damn bus in here with their mascot. This is where you buy the merch, like different camping supplies. The whole reason we originally came here was because like, oh, I need like a banana. Quick, good cars before my workout. And I'm like, oh, we'll go to Wally's. And I'm like, all right, sick. Never been. Obviously, Bucky's is a lot bigger than this, but this is very organized, very nice. Like, look how organized even like the salads are. This is really cool. All right, found the banana. The most simplest thing that I could ask for out of this entire store is just crazy. The amount of slushy flavors is crazy too. Coke, blue cotton candy, Mountain Dew, blue raspberry, strawberry lemonade, pineapple, orange cream, Dr. Pepper. Watermelon, strawberry, cherry, green apple, and a massive drink selection. Now, there's obviously a lot more that I'm not showing you guys, like the little things, like lots of different like booze here, and like different types of shots. And there's a lot. Can't possibly show you everything unless I stay like a, a good amount of time here. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a rush, so uh, showed you kind of the highlights. Sweating a lot right now. We just did a whole group workout for like the past almost hour. Feeling great, sweating a lot. I burned 560 calories. We didn't even do like strength training yet. This is all just like cardio stuff. Um, and then we ended with this 10 minutes with a partner, burned 40 calories on the rower, 30 burpees, 20 goblet squats. And if you complete all this, you restart it again until the 10 minute timer's up. Now I'm gonna go actually get some lifts in, get a little pump. I got push day, so I'm gonna hit some chest, triceps, and shoulders. The carbs are hitting. I haven't been carb loaded in like over two months at this point. Obviously, it's a little harder to track my food right now. We're out, we're traveling. So definitely ate a little bit more carbs than I should be at the moment. But bro, look at this, my veins, the pump's popping. Bro, this is crazy. Like, I, the veins are popping heavy right now. Let's go. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're all changed. We're headed over to Frisella Farms right now. Yeah, I got the glasses on right now that they gave us because we're actually gonna be shooting some guns today. We're gonna be doing like tactical training, a bunch of different stuff. It's gonna be really cool. And then later on tonight, we have dinner and a bonfire. Wow! We just pulled up and look at this. They got a whole freaking tank here, bro. What? <laughs> look at this thing. The last time we came here, this was all full. A whole area where you can like ride horses and there was bull riding. There was helicopter rides over here. And a bunch of food trucks, obviously. It's all just land right now. It's really bright out, so I got the glasses on, but we're gonna take a little ride around the farm. And be side by side right here. We got the drones out. I made this joke earlier today. I thought it was hilarious. You know, you're with a, a fitness company when even the cameramen are jacked. Like they're all huge. Like everyone's huge here, it's crazy. Some of the cameramen are bigger than me. I'm like, bro. Like, All right, here we go.
<laughs> She's gonna see me, I'm just in the back, like, dumping the whole time, trying not to get hit by the freaking branches. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, she's sitting in the back. Ouch, shit. <laughs> we made it. There we go. They got the attack dogs out. You gonna get your arm bitten today? Yes. Yeah, actually? Both of us, yes. Both of us? Yeah. Together. We'll Little see which one they go for first. We'll both take off separate directions. You get one of these. <laughs> Look, they even got first form branded mags. Right, we all got earplugs in. Bring up the ARs. That's crazy. It's got silencer on it. <laughs> Alright, Julius, we should be a late smoke down. <laughs> what is that even for? What are we locating? A little bit low, so just a tad bit higher. Hey! There it is. We got our there you go. new member. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, oh, storm's coming in. Don't for the sniper. Wait till you hear this, bro. It's loud. You, you heard all the other ones? Yeah. <laughs> what caliber? You know? 300, yeah, 300 wind mag. It's fine. Okay, so yeah. But shoot as far as you want it to. <laughs> on, bro, there. Where you're at, your hair's gonna blow back. Dude, he aced it. Dead center on that one. Got the goggles on. Tough fill with tanner right out there, which is an explosive if you don't know. But when they shoot it, it should blow the whole thing up. Never shot with a silencer before. Obviously, we got the earplugs in, but it's so quiet here. Yeah. I think she's going for the tanner. Right? Oh, He's got the dog attacking him right now. He's just the thing on his arm. Look at the rainbow. It's full too. Wow. It's so pretty right now. This literally looks fake. This looks like a movie filter. Oh sh now there's there's two rainbows now. Look. Which one's his car? Look at the sunset. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Let's go mudding. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> We're playing the Mario Kart game right now. <laughs> There's Julia, she got her picture up on there. Oh, I just got hit by some. Oh. Yeah, this game's a little different than like normal Mario Kart. They got like different power-ups. And to like jump and drift, I've like hit the brake while I'm accelerating. It's pretty cool. It's like a totally different experience, of course. Oh, 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 oh. You're in front of me. Oh no! Oh! No, I, I got first. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it comes. Are you kidding? Look, there's my picture. <laughs> I lined myself up. <laughs> got towed. So we're in a warehouse right now where they have all the apparel, and we've been back here before, but they just completely switched it up, and it's awesome. Uh, so we're back here now. You can see all the energy drinks up there. They have all these different machines. Crazy. So very organized. But there's machines. Oh, you'll see. Uh, yeah, there. Put it on there. Brings so it down. On average, um, our guys back here, they get about 40,000 steps a day. That's insane. So 40,000 steps. Yeah, we're just trying to like, yeah, how can we limit that a little bit? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So all the machinery definitely helps out a bit, like bringing it around to the front. So our boy Jarrett has a Ford Bronco Raptor. I've never seen one of these before. It's pretty much the most beefed up version of the car you can get. Let's go. Looks nice. You enjoying it? Yeah, they're cool, man. They're just different. They're yeah. Really it says goat modes on it. <laughs> yeah, when you rock crawl, things like that. Well, here, I'll switch one real quick. We'll put a Baja mode. This will change and it'll actually show you the front camera. Okay. Switch gears, wanna change the exhaust, everything. You can hear already? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> 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 Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Fun. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new car. I personally love it. It's awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.